With new teens only stepping into the spotlight, there is still a veil of mystery when it comes to the five members. So let's check out some little known facts about the new jeans members. Personal offer from Lee Soo-man. Minji's looks and vocals have been praised ever since she debuted. As soon as the debut music video Attention came out, people have been describing her visuals as clean and innocent, like she belongs to second gen K-pop, or even called her the next nation's first love, a title that has often been given to Bae Suzy. While discussing Minji's looks, it's been noted that her visuals would suit SM Entertainment as the company is full of beautiful idols that are known for their visuals. And as it turns out, Lee Soo-man himself thought the same thing. According to the pre-debut story, Minji has been scouted by SM Entertainment many times, and even personally asked to join by the company's ex-CEO, Lee Soo-man, who also then contacted Minji's parents. Not only was Minji offered to join the SM family, but was also offered the center position in the next SM girl group. Despite Lee Soo-man's pleas, she decided to stick with Source Music, where she was a trainee at that time. She later got transferred to Adore, a company under HYBE. Many people online are grateful for Minji sticking with HYBE. One netizen said, I'm so glad Minji went with HYBE. If she had gone with SM, I don't think she would have escaped their universe concept. Another person commented, But I do have to admit that she is such an SM style visual. I can see why Isuman stepped in to try and cast her. Does that mean that we could have seen Minji debut in Espa, or was there another project Isuman would personally tailor for Minji? Fans of SM have been calling Isuman a scouting genius for finding and debuting some of the most successful people in the K pop industry, so he really must have seen so much potential in Minji. She seems to be thriving in new jeans but seeing Minji be a part of the SM family would be truly mind-blowing, especially as the center of the new group. Hayne's pre-debut stardom. Despite being the maknae of the group, Hayne already seems to have quite a start in her career. Before she debuted in New Jeans, her face was spotted in a web drama called The Girl's Double Life. She played the character of Kyo Uri. She looks adorable in the drama, and her charms were already drawing in viewers. The web drama is on the YouTube channel Pocket TV, where Hayne was part of the Play With Me Now kids filming different vlogs and content. You can see her do Q&As, covers, day in life content, or training to become the K-pop star that she now actually is. She was one of the shining kids on the channel before officially departing from it on May 3rd, 2021. Even before that, she used to be a part of the kids girl group called Uso Girls under the stage name Ujong. It was a seven member girl group under the label Kids Planet that debuted on November 7th, 2017. Hayne must have left the group sometime in 2018 to focus on her trainee life. The first Vietnamese idol under Hype. Idols from different countries all around the world have been a part of K-pop for a long time. Foreigners moved to Seoul to make their idol dreams come true under the biggest labels. These trainees need to have an incredible amount of passion to survive in the new country and then pass the brutal trainee system. Honey is a Vietnamese Australian and is actually Hype's first ever signed and debuted Vietnamese trainee. She was a member of an Australian dance group and got to Hype after passing the Plus Global audition in 2019. There aren't many Vietnamese idols in K-pop, which apparently makes her the sixth Vietnamese debut trainee in K-pop. Pop. She's not the only Vietnamese K-pop idol debuting this year, as Han Bin from Tempest debuted in March. Born entertainer Danielle. Danielle had us all hooked with her visuals and voice from the moment we watched her in the Attention music video. However, this is not her first time being on camera. Turns out, Danielle was a child variety star. She was on the 2011 program Rainbow Kindergarten, a variety show hosted by Korean's favorite comedian Ji sung Dul. Other than that, she also appeared in a Shin Ha broadcast in 2012. Wasn't she adorable? New Jeans fans can't can't get enough of baby Danielle. One person said she looked like just a little doll when she was a kid. Her adorable face didn't really change. She only grew into her features. Nowadays, her looks are shining brightly in the groups. Successful fan Hayne. Being a successful stan and meeting your fave somewhere is one thing, but Hayne truly made it in her fangirl life. Hayne was making content for Pocket TV in her pre-debut days. In one of the videos, she revealed that she is actually a super fan of BTS. Along with that, she showed her BTS merch and memorabilia like like a true army. Along with that, she is also a proud fan of TXT. However, she met the TXT members even before she debuted. Hayne's bubbly personality was appearing both on YouTube and in variety shows, guesting on a show called Bonnie Honey Game Expedition, where TXT happened to be guest in one episode. There, Yeonjun was in shock to find out Honey is only a 08 liner, while Yeonjun is a 99 liner. She took a picture with him afterward that is on her Instagram. Nobody could have predicted that their reunion would happen a year and a half later during New Jeans debut promotions. They came to perform at Inky Gaio, where Yeonjun is currently emceeing. Both New Jeans fans and Moa's were emotional to see how far both of their faves made it. Even though Yeonjun got to dance with New Jeans on their TikTok, Hayne wasn't in it. So her ultimate fangirl dream has yet to come true. Idol friendships. Idol friendships are always exciting, be it the same age, friends, or people.
people from one company or just idols bonding over being in the same industry. But what's even wilder is pre-debut friendships where idols pass one another in the hallways or classes and later happen to both debut. This happened to Minji and Mmix's Soyun. These two idols are both O4 liners that attended the Hanlim Arts High School. They both graduated from the entertainment department, which consists of only one class for students. Minji and Soyun had to be classmates in the same year. Since Nmix and New Jeans are both candidates to be the rookie of the year, we hope that we get to see some interactions at the end of the year awards, or even better, these two could have a collab stage together. And while high school friendships are precious, even cuter ones are those that stem right from childhood. New Jeans Hain happens to be a childhood best friend with Leon from Classy and Tue Su Bean from the survival show My Teenage Girl. These three were probably in the same dance group as kids, cause not only were pictures of their group trip posted online, but there was a video of them dancing in a studio to Itzy's Icy. We hope to see them interact sooner or later. Appearance in a BTS music video. Trainees appearing in the music videos of their senior groups from the same label is nothing new. Twice as Nayeon and Jonghyun appeared in GOT7's Girls Girls Girls, Shiny's Minho in Girls Generation G, FX Crystal made an appearance in Chinese Juliet, and so on. The companies do this to spark interest in their trainees even before their debut, so when their group releases the first single, they already have a small following to lean back on. Hype did the same thing, making Minji and Hani appear in BTS's music video Permission to Dance. They played two of the school kids who removed their masks towards the end of the music video. Their visuals were already stunning, but no one had any idea that they would be a part of the new girl group under Hive when they debuted over a year later. Viral graduation picks. Going viral seems to be a make it or break it moment in every group's career. It doesn't matter if it happens after the debut, making the group skyrocket to popularity, or like the famous viral EXID's Honey's performance that saved the group from disbanding and starting the fan cam culture. In Hayden's case, it was just her face that already made waves online. Her graduation pictures from elementary school went viral, and people were praising her looks even from such a young age. One person commented, I thought everyone looked awkward in elementary school. LOL, if she's this pretty then, she'll be absolutely stunning from now on. Since there are no fixed positions in the group, the fans are already joking about how Hype even managed to find five visuals and put them together in a group. Rare last name. All the New Jeans fans know her as the beloved Danielle Marsh, but did you know her Korean name is actually Mo Jihae? Mo happens to be one of the most uncommon Korean surnames. Apparently, there are under 20,000 people in the entire country with the last name Mo. So it's pretty crazy that one of them happens to be Danielle. Special interactions with fans. One of the key things when it comes to a close bond between the fan and the artist is online engagement. Be it Twitter, Instagram, Bubble, fan cafes, Weavers, or VLive, the more the group interacts with fans, the better. The level of interaction K-pop stars have with their fans is unseen in the West. However, in South Korea, it is a must-have. But New Jeans took it to a whole new level. Despite their group being just a few months old, they already have their own app called Phoning where they are all active. The girls post messages, pictures, and videos there all for free. It genuinely seems like there are just five girls texting updates to their other friends. All you need is to download the app and then use your Weverse login details to get in. Many fans are calling New Jeans a true game changer and a breath of fresh air, and their way of interacting with fans is also one of the reasons why. Are you a fan of New Jeans? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.